how do I develop a strong thesis statement for my persuasive speech? In this lesson, you will learn how to develop a strong thesis statement for your persuasive speech by revising your thoughts into statements. Let's review. A thesis statement is an opinion that you care deeply about. We need to keep this in mind when we are developing our thoughts into statements. Hamburgers are the best lunch food is not a strong thesis statement because it's not something that I care deeply about. I like hamburgers and think they taste good, but it doesn't compare to how I feel about animal rights. Let's also review where we're at in the writing process. Step one is to generate ideas. Step two is to write drafts. And step three is to revise and edit. We're in step one, generating ideas. A common mistake. When we are brainstorming for ideas, sometimes we recall stories. I remember the time when thoughts. These stories are great places to generate ideas, but are not include in, included in a persuasive speech. An example is, teaching is the toughest job around, may have come from a story, but it's still a thesis statement. One time my teacher took us to the zoo is still a story and is not. Our lesson has three steps. The first step is observe in your imagination a person or place. Step two is reflect on your observations by questioning. Step three is revise your thoughts into a complete thesis statement. Step one, observe in your imagination a person or a place. I think I'll focus on my sister. We are very close, but we tend to be very competitive. I think I will be able to think about a lot of past experiences, stories that will help me develop a thesis statement. Okay, well I've already thought of some, have some thoughts about her. We're very close and she's very competitive. I think this is because she's the middle of the three of us. And oh boy, do I have stories about her. She's always taken school very seriously and when she was in fourth grade there was a competition for the student with the highest grade in class. She became obsessed. Not only did she work all hours of the night to study and complete her homework, but she even tried to sabotage, ruin the other top kid's chances of winning. She still feels bad about that. Without rehashing bad memories with all the details, I'll just say that this boy never found his multiplication chart. It all ended up that she did not learn a whole lot that year and needed to go to a tutor for the next year. Grades and winning became more important than learning. Step 2. Reflect on your observations by questioning. Okay, my question should lead me away from specific stories about my sister into some big ideas that I can say about people in general. This is how we work a thesis statement out of a story. We wiggle out specifics and go to the general. My sister my sister has an obsession with winning and grades were more important than learning. I think this is something that I can say about many people. Yes, definitely. Lots of people are competitive and especially when they are young, it's hard to keep a clear head. Step 3. Revise your thoughts into a thesis statement. So I'm going to use my reflection ideas. Let's see. I want to look at general statements. So who could this be about? Mm, students? No, school. It's really schools that make this happen in my mind. Uh, and I'm going to go with should not. I think her obsession might have been sparked by reward and not being able, not learning but prizes like being number one. All right, so here's my statement. Grades should not be rewarded uh, with prizes in school. Yes, that's it. Grades should not be rewarded with prizes in school. That's my thesis statement. So first, I observed in my imagination a person or place. So step one in the lesson is observe in your imagination a person or place. Then I reflected on those observations, stories about my sister. Reflect on your observations by questioning. Step three, revise your thoughts into a complete sta thesis statement. And yes, I have a thesis statement. In this lesson, you'll learn how to develop strong topics for your persuasive speech by revising your thoughts into statements.